Very, very good. Now Rogers, Bernard Edwards with me, Sheik back together again. You had your years of acrimony, the, the split, the bitterness, the, the separation, yes. like a marriage, because you were so close in the first place. And working with other people, I suppose when you actually went back to working with each other, you realized what you'd been missing. Absolutely. Oh, sure. I mean, we're also best friends, you know, and like you said, when we broke up, you know, I lost my friend, my, my musical collaborator, the whole thing. So for a while, it was like being lost out there. When we got back together, it was like coming back home. It was a lot of fun. So what were you missing? His groove, yeah. You know, I played with a lot of other people. He played on a lot of people's records, and I, and I made produced a lot of records, but it never felt the same when I sat down and played with Nile. It's true. Bernard said to me the other day, he says, yeah, man, when I heard you play on that Steve Winwood record, I loved it. And I was saying to myself, yeah, when I heard you play on this record and that record, I mean, he's all over the Rod Stewart stuff. I love it, and I can hear Bernard, but when we play together, it sounds like chic, it's instant style. Okay. Tell me about the time when you were actually, Niall, producing the David Bowie album Let's Dance, and mm -hmm. there was a, I've read this, it was a great story, <laughs> there was a problem with a bass part. Right, there was one of the songs, you see, uh, you gotta understand, let me give you a little backstory here. Yeah. See, uh, I had always depended upon great musicians, and the, the, to me, the best bass player and the best drummer that I knew at that time were Bernard and Tony Thompson. I, I always demanded that level of musicianship. So when I was working with David on Let's Dance, we ran into this one song that for some reason, even though the bass player had played brilliantly on the rest of the album, could not understand what we were doing. Which, he, which, which song? I don't even remember. I, I can't remember. Oh, you've got to remember. No, I tru truly, truly don't. Mm. Um, but he was playing something, and, and it either it wasn't in the pocket or he couldn't read the music right or something. And I said to David, because I could feel him getting a little frustrated, I says, well, um, my boys and she can do this in 15 minutes. He says, you serious? I said, absolutely. I said, Bernard will be in here and out within 15 minutes. That's a promise. Because we did that routinely. Yeah. Bernard walks in, he looks at the chart, and he looks at me and he says, hey, man, what's up, man? You I'm going to play C. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to play C. I'm a pedal. <laughs> and he looks, at, he looks at David and says, hey, man, how you doing? Nice to meet you. <laughs> it was that stoic, you know? And he looks down at the chart, he looks at the engineer, he says, all right, man, you want to run it for me? <laughs> the guy runs the tape, Bernard looks at the chart, plays right through and then puts down his face is that what y'all want <laughs> <laughs> I said yeah now he walked in around it was five minutes after and this was 20 minutes after when he said is that what y'all is that what y'all want we said yeah and he picked up his bass packed it up and walked out and I said I see y'all <laughs> and that was it and I looked at David I was proud I was beaming I said you see <laughs> I'm a real emotional guy you, know? you, don't, you, don't, you don't remember which particular track it was I don't remember nah. but it was just I, I was more excited about actually being there meeting my because I was actually downstairs working with Diana Ross on a track so I was right downstairs in the next studio. So I just actually walked upstairs, played it, and went back to work. Because I never even heard it finished until yeah, the, right, the record stream. came out. Well, you, you can't remember which track it was. We'll, we'll, I'm we'll, sorry. We'll hear one of the tracks from yeah. the album. Because it's a fine album, and there's the stamp of chic all over it. And a lot of people said, what are you doing an album like this for? Oh, but, it, yeah. but it worked so well, mm -hmm. didn't it? Yeah, 